Lucky number one. Whose car are we going in? scenario, uh, right into the fire. Um, it was a bit of a confined space scenario, so right along a bridge, um, going into a very small hole. Um, I was first man in, uh, and Scott was right behind me, um, and the scenario was to go in through a small, basically manhole, um, enter in and rescue a patient who was in water. Going through the hole uh, was very difficult. Due to the confined space, it was pretty tough to see what was happening on the inside. Uh, initially, we sent two of our rescuers inside. Uh, as the team lead stayed on the outside, which I could just peer through the hole, watching them a little bit to see what they were doing. Um, but the guys inside, the rescuers, had to make a lot of decisions on their own, which was good for them. And they learned a lot. Um, and so that's how we finished that scenario. Wasn't a patient. No. No, no, they told me all people here, time stop. No, no, no. That, yeah, that's what they said. They didn't say that. Okay, the, the, the time now is stopped. What? What? No, you know top sign. It wasn't told to me. In the what? Yeah, I think I'm going to talk about the mundo. Just clean up that shit, no. What's the time? Can we go 117. So why did you point your foot? Okay. Watch the phone. Is the finish. What's the start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Oh, no, you don't start up there. Okay. No. Okay, let's no. Just get, yeah, let's get every fun. There was quite a bit of miscommunication uh, um, and a bit of a language barrier with uh, some of the referees there. We had some difficulties with the judging and communications with the judges. That's what I'm saying, though. I want to complain to the formal director and I want to talk about it after the end of the day. Personally, I thought there was definitely a language barrier. Um, no one on our team knows Spanish. And some discussion about some of the techniques being used and a little bit of arguing when there didn't need to be arguing just because we were kind of losing each other in conversation from the language barrier. Um, we made it under time, had a good okay. scenario, and okay. one of the evaluator or judge didn't like how we uh, pulled our rescuers over the edge, which in an emergency situation is what you do to, you know, get patient care the fastest. He said it was too fast, and then we proceeded to argue for 10 to 15 minutes, and then he told us that the time hasn't stopped because we're still arguing and there's a carabiner on the ground. And now apparently we get zero points for going over time when we were under time. So. Their concern was minus five points for when we lifted you guys out and you went over the fence. We didn't suck up the rope. Can so I, there's a fall pass. Can I ask you something? Is that for all three of you guys that got pulled over? Is it just for patients? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Suck it up the road. All, one of us didn't do it, or whatever. So I'm fine with that. My concern was with the guy about the time. Apparently, time stops when all material is off from everything. So going forward, we have to do that now. Um, I did get us uh, seven minutes back because of all the fucking shit shows we had to do. We were fine. So we got 150 points out of bonus. Out of what? Uh, I don't know how much it was total, but basically we did good. So we didn't go overtime? No. Because oh, I fought, fought, okay, I fought, nice. I fought oh. for those minutes. Oh. Good. Awesome. Well, I got seven minutes back. I thought we were zero. I was like, that's what's pissed. Oh. No, what I was pissed is about that guy that interfering guy. with us. He can't interfere with us until after. Uh, we just finished our first uh, scenario. It was a little uh, tight, confined space. Um, but uh, now we're headed over to the dam. So we're headed across this bridge. And then uh, looks like over there, there's a little suspension bridge. Um, should be fun. Hopefully some uh, good height to it. 
Um, yeah, had a little disagreement on the last scenario, but uh, should uh, should hopefully be smooth sailing now. We'll see how she goes. So scenario two was definitely the highest our patient Lori has ever uh, hung off of. Um, she tried to compare it to Japan last year in Grim Japan when the bridge was about three times smaller than that. Um, and for me personally as well, it was I think the second highest thing I've ever hung off of. I'd say it was close to 500, 600 feet. Okay, okay now you're good. Hey, we love you Lori. Yeah. In this side, okay. Oh, okay. your zone is this. Okay. To the other. Okay. And then you're going off the end of the quarter one. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, let's do that. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 It should be on her shoulder harnesses to do some buckles. I also have a manual for my adventure. Two three vantage points on the heat show of a fucking parachute. Okay, that's fine. Just on the grill, you suck up the grill in right now before you blow her. That's good, that's good. on this anymore. Yeah, yeah there's a on. Yeah, three on. Keep sucking. Can you climb up? Can you climb up, Pink? Are you okay? Okay. Pink, you need a dog. There's another point on. I'm stuck. Okay, ready? Suck up on Grion. Watch your hand. I got Grion, Oliver. Nice and smooth. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah. Take everything off the anchors. In one pile. In one pile. Don't let go of Everything off the anchor. Good. On. Are you done? Off. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Done. Everything in, in, in your bags. What? what? No, no, no. Not the same. No? No. Just one area. One area. That's all it says. Only this is one area. Okay. I stopped time. No. no. 29. Oh, fuck yeah. 50. What's the time you went? 29. Or, sorry, uh, 26 minutes. We had 60. Okay. 26 minutes is what it took us. What's the 29? What's the time of it? 60. <laughs> Good job, Lori. Your big hug, Lori. Big hug. Yes. <laughs> Let's Not everybody's on the same page with the with the rules and regulations. Uh, we had to kind of adapt with uh, each judge that we had for different scenarios. So that was kind of tough. Are you for there? By, 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 by them. But does this say you can't use them? No one said anything. No. Only, only mandatory use of the rescue train thing. That's what I think too, but yeah, I, right when I saw a beer and I told Izzy, I'm like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Take a look. This catches him. Going through the rope because he's already pulling it down. He's saying, if this, was, if this gets cut, yeah. no, you're not going to. 
If it's really steep, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's only up into the Third and final scenario of the day. We got about a 200, 300 foot sloping rescue. Patient's at the bottom of a 230, 250 foot slope and just gonna go down and haul her up. Whoa, whoa. What's up? Yeah. Finger. It's gonna hurt a lot. I need a reset. We're gonna get our head up here, we're gonna push. Ready? Three, one, two, three. Go! Oh. Wait, one, two, three. Three ounce? Is she stuck on the lines now? Three ounce. Three ounce. Push! Push! Three ounce. No. Go! No, my three ounce stuck in. Oh, that's okay. You holding? No. Yes. Okay. We're good. Okay, all right, all right, figure it out. Let's, let's go. I'm, I'm tangled as well. I'm tangled as well. We're all good. Okay, I'm good now. I'm good. We get her up. Okay. Right now. Good. Hey, two, three. Okay. Hey, time's not over yet. Time's not stop. Nice job. How's your hand? You mean? I fucked it. Grab this. Go. Go. Get over. Yeah. Hey, man. We done? Not a man. Norm. We finished? Finished? Oh, I can't see. Yeah, I think it's, it's off. It's, like it's off. Uh, oh. <laughs> 101. What? 101. 61 minutes. Nice. Good boy. Quanto es? Quanto es? Una hora, un minuto, cincuenta y siete. You ready? No, this is our new today. Una hora. Vale, para ponte al teléfono. Um, yeah, first day, uh, a lot of nerves going into it. Um, first real day of competition and first time Jackson and I were put in an environment like that. Um, and shaking off a little rust on the first scenario, but after that, um, we trained so much as a team in preparation that it felt quite fluid and quite normal. Yeah, most of the training that we did uh, before we left, um, I think was very helpful for the first day. We ended up doing a lot of the stuff that we were practicing before. Um, our span anchors, a lot of our like confined space work was really helpful for that first scenario. Um, you know, we do that all the time in our day-to-day -day job. So our very first scenario being in confined space was really nice. Um, it kind of set the tone for the entire day because we were super prepped for it. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, definitely after the first scenario, we started to realize that, you know, um, we were going to have disagreements with judges quite often and there was going to be a huge language, language barrier of uh, just people not really understanding the views and I don't know if that's a Europe to North American thing, but it was, it seemed like we butted heads from the first scenario all the way to the last. It was pretty much nonstop with uh, our team and the judges, unfortunately.
it's day two, scenario one. Um, I don't know what we're going to get. There's some people up there. But uh, I don't actually know what we're going to get. We're waiting for Norm to get the answers, so we'll see. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay. Come here. So on this picture here, there's a staircase here. So this is the gangway. There's the two basic gangways, right? Yeah. You're a far side. Far side. Okay. When we get back up to here, Scott's going to run around. We are going to the other gangway. We then put a releasable anchor and then we rappel down. Okay. We're rappelling down too. Hey, Good morning. Tension both. They throw, throw or yeah, they've already thrown throw lines. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the throw line was pretty, uh, pretty mangled. And our throw line was all tangled up. That caused us a huge delay, which kind of put uh, the morale kind of downwards. Yo, shut the fuck up right now. Fuck him off right now. It's on the other side. Oh, fuck. That fucking tree, that tree is absolutely screwing us. I don't know, that's, this shouldn't even be a lane. Don't the attention. Calm down. Being the only people with a ginormous palm tree in the, in literally our rope lane sure didn't help. Are you okay, Lord? Yeah. Uh. I think we all get palm tree tattoos. Yeah. <sighs> Step, okay. Controls. Okay, one side. Yeah, yeah. Coming in the bag. Should be able to give you some, like, 20, 30 minutes back to that tree. Leave him with the trouble on the tree. Up to this point? Make sure you're on the way to the other one. Wait, wait. Get the end. Get the end. Uh, let's go. Okay. Okay, mind those. There we go, we're good. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, bro. Bro, bro, bro! Oh. What? No, we do not. Pull over. Watch your head, bro! Okay, grab it, gotta go over the top. Oh, this shit show, man. Time stop. Fuck. Can work all your asses up there. That fucking tree. Look at it in the bright way. It can't get any worse from here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, eventually we got out of it, we got things going, and once we got things going, uh, another hiccup came up that we had the only lane with a palm tree that was in our way. That obstructed our pathway for quite a bit, so that took us a few minutes to get past that. Um, and then after all that we had to re-rig, de-rig everything and then re-rig another set of lines to finish the complex uh, scenario out. Uh, overall, didn't start out very well, but the boys picked it up really well in the end, uh, considering how we started. We did finish a little over time, but we got some, minute, uh, some time back because of the palm tree. 
so overall, wasn't a good start, but I think the way the kids battled back, it was a really good result, and morale went up big after that, so. Why are you filming this? What's exciting about this? So in the auto, we got 98. Okay, no, that for, for what happened to us? For what it was, yeah. So it wasn't that bad. This all around? Uh, you know what? For, uh, for the situation we were put in, um, there was eight lanes, and we got the one lane that had a palm tree. Uh, so me and uh, Lori kind of went into the mighty jungle. Uh, but other than that, some things that we could have prepped a little bit better before. Uh, the throw ball was a little bit goobered. Um, so that was, a, that was a bit of an issue, but then on top of that, just dealing with the tree. Um, me and Scott ended up having to build a lot of MA to try and break through the tree to get our track lines up. Um, There's a, uh, a lot of difficulties that we faced, but we really picked it up at the back end. We got through those difficulties, um, went a little over time, but they compensated us some time for us having to deal with the palm tree, uh, which was good. Um, and our whole back half of uh, the scenario went really fast and really clean, and that's uh, we, where we kind of started to catch up some other teams. So for what it was, I think we did really good. Uh, so scenario two, day two, um, we're uh, out at their Olympic Stadium and uh, there was a really cool scenario, um, a lot of different things to consider, some difficult things for the riggers uh, to kind of go around, um, very large objects to rig around from awkward positions, so uh, the riggers came through for that. But uh, yeah, one thing we got docked points on that was uh, our edge transition um, near the end of it. And uh, I don't know, it felt, uh, it felt fantastic. It was one of the best edge transitions I've ever done. Watch the inside edge. Stop! That shit was beautiful. It was one of the best, smoothest things that was part of that competition. I thought the edge transition went pretty well, but apparently it didn't. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what those judges are talking about, that transition was pretty freaking smooth, so I don't know. It's up to them, I guess. <laughs> It was difficult to uh, kind of deal with that, and um, we had to uh, fight for those points back, and I think we got a little bit back, but uh, yeah, that was, uh, it's kind of how the competition went. We gotta go. We got two left, it's four o'clock.
It's quite different. This is the same scenario where I was dropped in Japan. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. What do you mean? Scott. Scott? Yeah. Did you do a meeting? Did you do a meeting? Well, I think we were just moving a little bit slow. I don't know if we were uh, prepared enough for that scenario. Um, but I think we are moving a little bit slow. Uh, it looked like we weren't going to finish in time. We actually still have two minutes on the clock, but they pulled us down uh, a little early because they didn't think we could do it in time. And I, I think they're probably right. Um, so a little bit unfortunate, but we got zero on that scenario. Um, I think we lost our bidding but it was just a thing of... Uh, Very nice job, guys. Being, uh, you. Gracias. Um, just a thing of being uh, prepared enough and being comfortable enough to be moving as fast as we need to be. Um, I think we knew what to do, but weren't comfortable enough to get it done. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I think uh, I think we'll keep good spirits from this. Uh, we got pretty close to the end, so um, and either way, it's a great learning experience for this one because it's uh, yeah, it, it was uh, it was a little rough. It was uh, something new for all of us. So um, yeah, um, I'm glad we got a chance to at least give it a go. You guys did a good job on this. It was not an easy one. It was pretty difficult to do. So don't feel doubting. So you guys did good. Um, it's just lack of experience. That's all it is. So it's, uh, we take this as a learning lesson and then we move forward. Okay? So we got another one day still. So we got to pull together for one more day. And again, remember guys, like Mark said, have fun on this. We're in Seville. We're in Spain. We're doing cool shit off cool buildings. Most people don't get to do this kind of shit. Right? So don't take it hard on yourselves. It was a hard one to do. It was the last one. We're tired. It's new to us. Okay? So we're doing good. So don't take it hard. Okay? Pug. Here, Pug. Dude, my back is so Oh! Day three, scenario one. Um, looks like uh, our whole team is climbing up these 100, 200 foot ropes. It's, everyone's pretty sore and bruised and tired, so we're not really looking forward to this one. Going into the last day, it feels kind of surreal that the competition's almost already over. We've been training for, you know, four or five, six months, training the two new guys up from literally nothing, just starting this industry for the first time and I don't know I'm, I'm excited to see what the next day holds Are you nervous? No, I had a cappuccino and there's milk. Oh, you're literally gonna put your hands, not like nervous food. <laughs> Good job. You could be my king. <laughs> 
Okay. Go over there and check that edge, bro. Make sure I don't rub on that edge, bro. Is that edge pro good? Is that edge pro good? Is that edge pro? That's good. That's good. Alright. Double down. New name in my phone, Sexy Sensei. Yeah, watch that. Everyone must be across the cone. We got 119. 119. Okay, 62 minutes. So, a lot better than yesterday. Good start. We just got to keep the momentum. Hopefully, it gets better. Sorry, we're on the diagonal. Yep, exactly. Yep, diagonal. Two anchors sitting on fire. Patient, head, head, and unconscious. You're doing good. Just do your normal sprat pickoff. Take the leg loop out. Yeah, it's fucking ugly. Look at his ace. Huh? What do I do here? Yeah, we're like X twisted. Yeah, that's okay. That's what we want. That's what we want. That's the way it's supposed to be. Um, this still on you. Taking him off and putting him on me. Okay. Okay. 
on. <laughs> That line might be a little high. Just get down to the ground. Keep going. All the way down, all the way down. Yep. Jackson, I want you on all, all, all fours, like a bench. He's gonna step on your back and he's gonna pop that in. I got, I got, I got it. If I can get it, Jackson off, I can get it. Okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get it offline, offline. Yeah. <laughs> what? So fucking what? 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 What happened? Yeah, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. 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 That's scary. Talk about just using your That was close. Oh, oh yeah, you did that. 20 time. minutes. We nailed it. Alex, I was thinking of really so I had fucking hit that stuff. Bro, I was so sorry. Full of day three has gone very well so far. We've been popping off. Um, that last one was pretty nerve wracking. I was the only rescuer uh, going up on two lines to rescue a patient through knots. The rescue itself went very well. When you're up there, you don't really know what how long it's been, and you have a 30 minute time limit to do a, a Sprat level two scenario. Um, so it was pretty uh, terrifying. Uh, I ended up doing it in 20 minutes with a near perfect score. One of the points I got off was because of my ASAP backup almost not reaching the ground. I had just enough line, and they probably did that, like the competition probably did that just for make sure that you would realize that you had it enough. Um, but it ended up working out and I could just reach it. Yeah. He's like, yep, I got this one here. <laughs> I got this one, never mind now. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, you hear that? You on perfect in place. Oh, oh. scenario of the competition uh, number 12 and pressure's on um, a bunch of teams today have gotten a score of zero on here they've timed out um, and after our zero yesterday on that rope access scenario this is another rope access uh, rope access scenario that's very similar and uh, we kind of we're here for redemption um, because if we uh, if we can score here we can maybe beat out some of those teams that got zero on this scenario earlier today so fingers crossed um, we're gonna give her it all and hopefully we can uh, Hopefully we can make it happen. 
Also, uh, the stretch is going to start here, okay? We will have the ends already, and Scott will bring those over. Does that follow me so far? Yep. These will go over here, and they'll come down here to a focal point. These ones are going to start here, and then we're just going to lift it up that way. I'll already give you a touch to the basket and I will go with Exactly. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> One more. Okay, hold tension on that rope. Man, dude. Yo, can we get some help? No, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. We were thinking just do the butterfly and then above the butterfly do the burritos. Doesn't flip over. Yo, can we get Jackson? I'm gonna feed it up. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. That feeds nicely. Put you down that side. Two, three. The train station was definitely the toughest, uh, toughest scenario that we had to face come that time. And I think it being at the end of the day, us being already super worn out from, you know, two days before that, um, doing scenarios, I just think that combination really didn't set well with us. I feel like if we you know, had another chance to go over that, I feel like we definitely would have been able to complete it. It just sucks we went over time. Um, but, I mean, come next grimp, I don't think that one's ever going to stop us again. Lesson learned for sure. We're cutting. It's over time, anyhow. It's over time. So. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. We're like, it's overtime. <laughs> so competition as a whole, uh, it was four really amazing days. Like the opportunity, uh, especially for Jackson and myself, but the whole team to get such an accelerated learning process, so much training, uh, so much extra. It was uh, absolutely incredible. Like it. Uh, the amount of things that we learn from other teams, um, as well as from our own team, getting put in those stressful scenarios where we have to operate on a time crunch, it was uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I felt like I learned so much in the, uh, the training leading up to it, and then for the amount that I got out of four days, it was such an amazing opportunity, and a huge shout out to uh, Ronan Rescue, um, Tamar, Kevin, and Ken, uh, the owners, um, 
for sponsoring us and putting faith in us to, uh, to give it a shot and uh, have that professional development for us and all that personal development um, meant a lot. And then all of our sponsors, um, they really helped us um, just make it happen. There's no way that we could have done it without them. And yeah, so I'm just incredibly thankful for the opportunity that we had. Um, grueling few days, but absolutely am amazing few days. And to get to do it in Abby's name, um, she was really close to a lot of us and uh, to, uh, to lose her in, but be able to honor her memory by doing this was, um, couldn't ask for anything more. And uh, yeah, this is one of the best experiences of my life. And I recommend anybody who's getting into rope rescue to uh, try their hardest to put together a team and go because the amount that you'll learn, the friendships you'll make and uh, different cultures you see, both uh, just the countries themselves as well as the different rescue cultures around the world uh, is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think the kids did overall a really good job. Uh, they had their difficulties, which was understandable. They're a young, inexperienced team. Uh, but putting them through the paces and through those scenarios, I think they learned a lot and did very well. Uh, I'm totally not disappointed at all in how we placed, even though we didn't place that great. Uh, it was the fact that it was a big learning lesson for all of us and what we were able to take away from this competition. So overall, pretty happy. The reason why this grimp is one of the most important that Ronan has ever done is because we recently tragically lost the life of um, one of our coworkers, friends, um, and even someone that a lot of us would consider family. Um, she tragically got in an accident on the way to a fire hall, um, as we do contracting out to fire halls. Um, she's done a lot of training with us and helped us with a lot of the stuff that we did in leading up to Crim Japan. Um, we worked with her every day and she was going to school at the same time as working, but eventually one day she wanted to be one of the um, rescuers on a Grimp team. Um, and in the past she has been the victim of the 2021, I believe, um, Grimp Nemour. For everyone at Ronan, um, Abby was really a joy to be around. She pushed everyone every day and definitely challenged social cues and social norms. Um, to me, I've known her for over eight years and grown up with her and lived in her house at one point. Um, and it's just a, a really tragic loss for everyone around her. Um, and she impacted so many people. The Abby Bickle Memorial Fund was put up by her family to give back to the communities that Abby really cared about. Um, communities such as first responders and victims of crime and trauma, um, equitable training and education and rescue operations, and the local community organizations focused on youth leadership and adventure.